I'm about to fight. That's future tense. I'm already fighting. And you might say, for what? I'm just going to be honest with y'all and real with y'all. Straight up with y'all. This is one of these, these lives that, that I expect to change your life. That I expect for you to watch. That I expect for you to share with those that you love. These are one of these videos, man, where I know it's going to change some people. I know it's going to touch your heart. Because every my whole run, I'm fighting. I'm fighting. And the truth is, we all fighting for different stuff. We all fighting for different battles. Ain't that right, Jen? Ain't that right, Vera? Ain't that right, Amanda? We all fighting. And some of us, man, we fighting the wrong battles. We fighting the wrong battles. We spending our energy fighting things, fighting battles that it's impossible to win. We fighting battles that ain't meant for us to be in. We fighting fights and battles and things that we ain't meant to fight. And some of us, what we doing, we fighting our past. Right? We fighting people. We fighting haters. We fighting judgment. We fighting all these things, man. We waste our energy. We wasting our energy on things that don't matter. There's a lot of things that I want to fight physically. There's a lot of people at times I want to fight physically. There's a lot of things I want to come back to. There's a lot of things I want to respond to. There's a lot of things I want to put my energy towards. And I ask myself, am I fighting for the things that matter? Because some of us, we complaining. We complain about our life, we complain about our situations, but we ain't fighting. We ain't fighting for it. We ain't fighting for our dreams. We ain't fighting for our health. We ain't fighting for our kids. We ain't fighting for our friends. We ain't fighting for this world. We ain't fighting for our purpose. We ain't fighting for our passions. We ain't fighting for it. And then we get mad and we want to fight everything else that don't help our life. So my question to you is this, what you fighting for? What you putting your energy towards? There's a battle in your life, man. And that battle is between you and you. It ain't between your, your past. It ain't between those people that don't like you no more. It ain't, it ain't between those people that's judging you. It ain't between your mistakes. It's a between you and you in this moment. And you got a choice, man. And you can move forward and fight the things that help you progress. Fight the things that make you stronger. Fight the things that make you better. Fight the things that break generational curses. Fight the things that implement generational growth in your life. Or you can fight the things that don't matter. And some of us, we've spent our whole entire life fighting the things that, we, that don't matter. We wonder why we're tired. And I'm not telling you, when you fight the things that truly matter, that mental health battle, that spiritual battle, that health battle, that emotional battle, I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying it's easy. But you need every single drop of your energy to go towards that. Take your energy back. Stop fighting things in this world that are doing nothing for your life. Because you get one of these. Today's my daughter's birthday, and I ran five miles for her. Right, not to see and say, oh, I ran five miles, but I know a few months ago, we almost lost my baby girl. So I see, I'm going to fight to be a better father, and it's going to be significant for every mile that I run. Is it hot? Hell yeah, it's hot. I feel like the devil right on my neck. Cows out here asleep. They didn't went inside all the animals they left because it's hot. But I'm out here getting it in. And there ain't no, there ain't no shade to any of y'all because we all got our own journeys. But I refuse to leave this earth empty because I fought for the wrong things. So what you fighting for, man? Get very clear on that. Everybody ain't going to understand it. People that used to be around you going to see imperfection and walk away from you. All these things, but the battle is between you and your damn self. It ain't going to change unless you do something about it. Please understand that. Unless you remove yourself from it. Unless you learn the skills. Unless you take the journey. Unless you do it. But you got to fight. Some of y'all expecting other people to fight for you. And that may happen, but some of y'all depending on your friends, your family, your spouses, everybody else to fight for you. Fight for your life. And some of us, we don't want to do it because it's too hard. And I'm sorry if I'm yelling in your ears. I'm sorry, but I'm passionate about this stuff, man. Because I'm tired of people coming in my inbox, right, and spending energy on things that don't matter. I get it. It's easier said than done. But why are you wasting your time on people that have shown you they don't care about you? Right? Some of y'all need to fight for your relationship, right? Fight for it. Fight for it. Depression. Fight it. Stop just accepting it. Fight it. Stop just saying, oh, this is the way I am. Have you moved your body? Have you, have you done the work? Have you tried your best? Fight for it. For your family, fight for it. For your kids, fight for it. 
Fight for it. Fight to meet the greatest you. Fight for it. Why not? You're going to die one day, man. Realize that. And there ain't going to be no time left. And some of us, we living on here like we got time, like we control time. Ain't nobody controlling no time on here. Steve Jobs should have told you that. It don't matter if you're a billionaire or not. You can't control time. And some of us just living this life like we got it. You ain't got time. And the fact of the matter is, some of us have spent 80% of our life, 80% of our life, not fighting for what we should fight for, accepting less, selling for less, going through the same damn motions that don't leave you nowhere, staying in the same damn environment that's been draining you, just complaining about it. Stop talking about change if you're not going to change. Become obsessed, man. Right things. Everybody on this live wants change. Everybody. But everybody doesn't want to change. Some of y'all sitting on social media all every day, right? Comment on every post with the phone in your hand all day, and you're saying you ain't got time. Your health sucks. Right? You ain't working on that. Your mental sucks. But yet you're watching everybody else live their life. You're so accessible to everybody else. You ain't took time to work on you and understand what you need for you. Because we all built different. We all got different perspectives. What's true for me might not be true for you. But I encourage you to go on that journey and fight for your perspective. Fight to meet the greatest you. So I know it's one o'clock in the daytime. This might be a a message that that maybe it's a little too much. But I promise you, man, I fight for mine. I fight for mine. And I've been fighting, man, really hard for these last three months. Some of y'all don't even know, nor do you need to know. The demons. The battle. I haven't been myself for the last year. I've been 30% of myself. But you know what? I've been fighting for that damn 30%. I kept fighting, I kept fighting, depression gave up, pain gave up, struggle game gave up, self-sabotage gave up, self-pity gave up, judgments gave up, because I stood tall and I stood my ground for what's important for my life, and now I'm operating about 70, 80% of who I am, and I'm going to keep fighting to meet that 100%, maybe I won't before I leave this earth, but for damn sure, Trent Simmons Shelton is going to fight for it. So if I'm you, I'm getting off this live right now, right now, and making a choice. Because being straight up about it, some of y'all might not want to hear it, but it's facts and it's with all love. I love each and every one of you. And these are messages that I told myself. When I'm running today out here, I'm telling myself, T, you got a choice. You better fight for it, boy. You better fight for it. You got a choice. The same passion I'm giving you, I give myself. But your life is nothing but a reflection of the choices that you made. As long as you're living in your past, you will be depressed. And as long as you live in the future, you will be anxious. Be obsessed with your now and what you can control. Make a damn choice. And decide. Put away your cell phone. Stop scrolling social media all day. Stop being so accessible all day and work on you. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I don't want to be around nobody. Nobody. That ain't working to fight. For their life. I refuse to let weak spirits, weak spirits, don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that you're weak. We all go through our weak moment, but I refuse to let weak spirits rub off on me. And some of us, we in environments around weak spirits and we just accept and you ain't got no accountability. You ain't got nobody pushing you. But you know what? Like I said, this battle's between you and you. That can't be your excuse. Your circumstance, how you grew up can't be your excuse for the rest of your life. What somebody did to you can't be your excuse for the rest of your life because this world doesn't give a damn. Don't you realize that the sun is still coming up every single day, despite what you're going through. The moon is still coming up every single day, despite what you're going through. Uncle Sam is still there, despite what you're going through. The calendar is still moving, despite what you're going through. The time on the clock is still ticking, despite what you're going through. The months on the calendar are still changing, despite what you're going through. People are moving on with their life, despite what you're going through. So what you going to do? You're going to wait till you get 90 years old and realize that you wasted your life? This battle's between you and you. Period. This ain't me being angry. This is me being hungry. Because I'm fighting for you. 
I fight for some of y'all more than y'all fight for yourself. But Trent, but Trent, I don't care about your butts. The world don't care about it, man. It don't care about it. Make a choice. Make a change. Stand on what you stand on. Make a commitment to your life. Make a commitment to it. Because you're going to leave this earth one day. Some of y'all might not care. I get it. But you're going to leave this earth one day. And you're going to realize that you ran a race full of excuses. You ran a race that you that you settled. You ran a race that you that you cheated yourself on. And you gave the baton to the next generation. And they got to play catch up. They got to play catch up. What you fighting for? Some of y'all are so quick to fight somebody in life that talk noise about you. So quick to fight physical fights. So quick to respond to people. So quick to gossip. So quick to run your damn mouth. So quick to do all that. The sun coming up tomorrow, man. What you choose to do today, what you choose not to do today, that's on you. But one thing is for sure, the sun coming up tomorrow, and time is not waiting for nobody. The unfortunate thing is that so many people are going to die with so much potential in their life. They're going to die with so much in their soul. They're going to die full, man, because they lived an empty life. They allowed the things they can't control to control them. They became obsessed with the things that don't even damn matter. Some of y'all are so obsessed with strangers on the internet that you ain't going to never meet in real life. So obsessed with the few people that don't like you. They say you can be giving, to, giving that energy to your kids and the people that love you. Some of y'all are so busy, so obsessed with responding to people online that you're ignoring your kid right in front of your face. I've been there. I ain't judging you. When you're going to get sick and tired of being sick and tired, and I expect people to get off this damn live, man. I expect it because everybody, everybody want, everybody want to feel sorry for themselves. Everybody want people to feel sorry. You can lose weight. You don't, you don't need my company, whoever said that. You want to lose weight? Trust me. It takes discipline. It takes commitment. We live in a world where you can find any information that you want for free. I want to lose weight. I'm losing weight right now. You see my ass outside in this hot ass sun. Excuse my language, but hey, if you're offended by ass, then you should be offended by everything else in life that ain't helping you become better. Be more offended by that. Now I refuse to sit here and just use excuses that I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I won't. I can't. I can't. I can't. You're so programmed to think like that. Baby girl. Baby boy. Ma'am. Sir. It's inside you, man. I promise you. Stop trying to paint a picture of life that you think you're supposed to live, man. That's the problem. We got this, this fairy tale life that we think we're supposed to live. And what happens is when life ain't adding up to that or we, we, we lack faith and we can't see it's leading to that or it's not supposed to lead to that, we feel sorry for ourselves and we quit. We self-sabotage and we have self-pity. Just control what you can control and let God lead your life. Let God lead your life. No plan would have led me where I'm at today. I promise you that. None of my plans. This was far out of my plans. This is God's plan. So focus on what you can control and let life, momentum, God handle the rest. All right? This is for you. I'm talking to you. Yeah. you like, yeah, you're treating I'm talking to you. 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 Right there at work. You're right there sitting in your car. You're right there sitting in your couch. You're right there walking. I'm talking to you. I can see you, too. I'm talking to you. What you fighting for, man? Be very clear. And I guarantee if you can... If you can finish the rest of this week, forget this month, forget this year. Forget, if you can finish the rest, forget this week. If you can finish the rest of your day and say, man, I fought for the things that we're fighting for, or I got clear on what I need to fight for. I got clear with being obsessed with what's in my control. I got clear on that. You will receive something that's greater than anything the world promises. And that is peace in your soul. The most underrated experience in life. Peace. If you have peace, you have everything. And peace isn't the absence of problems, my friends. Peace is the presence of God. Peace is the presence of purpose. 
peace is the presence of fulfillment. And every time you keep the promises to yourself, every time you fight for the right things, a little bit of peace will fill your soul. You will drop a little bit of peace in that bucket in your soul. And over time, that adds up. I love y'all, man.